Hi guys, welcome to another masterpiece session. Um, this week I'm doing a farewell, uh, my concubine. This is from 1993, directed by Chen Kai Gu. Uh, absolutely phenomenal movie. It stars the great, late great Leslie Chung um, and Xiong Fong Yi and Gong Li. Um, Leslie Chung plays a uh, Chong Dei, uh, a son of a prostitute who is given to the uh, Peking Opera. Um, if you've never heard of the Peking Opera, they're quite a strict like, entertainment group. Um, quite big in the 1950s. Um, I mean, Jackie Chan and uh, Sammo Hung, they both started in the Peking Opera. Uh, they're, they're taught uh, acrobatics, dance, uh, martial arts. Um, singing, um, so it's, but it's a very strict regime. Um, they're fed next to nothing, and they're just beaten if they do something wrong. Anyway, um, Shang Dei, uh, played by Leslie Chung, uh, builds a great friendship with uh, Duran Zhao Lu, uh, who's played by Zhang Fong Yi. Um, they they play, they have this act which is a um, sort of play which is Farewell My Concubine uh, the story of a king and his uh, concubine um, Leslie Chung plays the concubine in this uh, role whilst uh, Zhang Fong Li plays uh, the king um, whilst playing these roles um, Leslie Chung's character who is homosexual uh, builds a relationship for his uh, his castmate um, the master uh, Zhang, Zhang Fong Yi's character doesn't really he's not gay he um, he still keeps that friendship with him um, whilst not returning his affection um, at the same time, he falls for a prostitute uh, played by Gong Li. Um, they have this real passionate uh, relationship. Uh, it goes from good and bad. Um, so the film really uh, evolves around these three characters. Uh, Gong Li's character, uh, Fong Yi's character and Chung. So it's sort of like a romantic love triangle um, Leslie Chung at first does not really care much for Gong Li's character um, but they still like try to go about things uh, the story really takes part during different big uh, milestones in Chinese history uh, you have the Japanese occupation during the second Sino-Japanese war whilst also you've got the cultural revolution um, during the whole Maoist regime, the Red Army, um, and it really plays heavily on their situations. I mean, uh, Leslie Chung performs for the Japanese, whilst he didn't really want to, because at the time Japanese were treated the Chinese poorly, um, so he was performing for them, and at the same time he had affections with. Um, Someone who was um, sort of like a head of the theatre at the time. Uh, he was another gay man, very wealthy, and he was funding the uh, their operas. Um, later on, when you had the uh, Cultural Revolution, uh, Leslie Chung was sort of um, he was imprisoned due to his performance with the uh, for the Japanese. Um, and uh, Gong Yi and Gong Li's character both try to help him at the same time and he ha ha suffers from other great situations like he becomes addicted to uh, opium uh, what, when coming out so it's, it's a lot of lot of story lot, lot going on in this film I mean the film is nearly three hours long but it doesn't actually feel like three hours it, it feels like two hours um, the film is absolutely fantastic Leslie Chunk gives one of the greatest performances I mean 
he was a great actor in his time um, from films that he did with um, uh, John Woo to even like the uh, Wong Kar Wai movies I mean the Wong Kar Wai movies he's done is are phenomenal uh, Days of Being Wild um, he's just a phenomenal uh, and he did go on to do other, another film with Chen Kaigu which was his next movie I think it was I can't remember the film off the top of my head but yeah this film was absolutely phenomenal it won awards in Cannes um, it went on to the Oscars where it should have, in my opinion it should have won best foreign movie um, and it was up for best cinematography because the cinematography in this is gorgeous I mean the edition I own which is the Korean edition I don't think the the picture quality really brings out the the visuals of this movie because the visuals are absolutely gorgeous I know there is a BFI release of this movie um, I need to really check that out if it's any better than this um, I must say guys this is a masterpiece and it is like one of those films you have to see um, probably one of the greatest performances by Leslie Chung um, I highly recommend it to anyone um, it is just phenomenal I can't sing this film's praise enough um, yeah guys if you have seen this film please comment below let me know what you think of it um, also guys I'm really struggling, struggling to come up with other movies to bring you every week um, for the masterpiece sessions um, if you have any movies that you recommend for me to do a video on I'm more than happy to do it. I mean, everyone is crying for more um, Seiji and Suzuki mo movies for me to do, um, and I've more Wong Kar Wai movies. And I will bring these. I will do more of these. So don't worry, guys. Um, there, I have a ton of movies I've, I I could be doing, but it's just thinking which one to do next. Um, but yeah, guys, comment below. Let me know which ones you want to see. Uh, if you don't know my channel please click subscribe I do a lot of Asian cinema my specialty is Asian cinema and my whole library is, is probably about 75% Asian uh, East Asian movies and I do Blu-ray updates every week as well as trying to do these masterpiece sessions talking about classic and modern masterpieces from East Asia so yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, don't forget to click subscribe, click like or dislike if you don't like this video and comment below. Take it easy guys, see you next week.